So my video about 5D chess kind of uh, exploded. In just over a month it went from a respectable thousand views or so to the most popular video I've ever uploaded. So to celebrate I'm going to address the argument that's broken out in the comments section. Namely, how many dimensions are there in 5D chess with multiverse time travel? Five? Four? Maybe six? I'm really quite surprised this is such a contentious issue, but then again I guess I should be grateful my viewers are arguing about this and not the usual stuff you find in the bottom half of the internet. Let's start clearing things up by reading the original explanation given by the developer. Two spatial dimensions, that's your up, down and your left, right. A dimension in time and a dimension in the multiverse. With the third spatial dimension unused. So five in total, but only four actually used as part of the game mechanics. So there you go, word of God has spoken, everything's cleared up, and you can go on your merry way and forget all about it. But can we really say something is five-dimensional if a whole dimension goes... unused? Think about regular chess for a second. We obviously play in 3D space, but is it a 3D game or a 2D game? Without getting too technical, we can express any move a regular chess piece might want to make as some distance up or down, plus some distance left or right. That is, some linear combination of two independent vectors, which, mathematically speaking, defines two dimensions. So chess pieces in their most fundamental representation move on a two-dimensional plane, even if that plane is positioned within a three-dimensional space. Thus, mechanically at least, chess is two-dimensional. We can disagree about whether it inherits the dimensionality of the real world, whether that be three, four, or eleven, but chess is defined to be played in 2D. What about knights, you moron? Uh, we'll get to that. Now, for 5D chess with multiverse time travel, hopefully you all remember my double axis representation of each piece's movement. Just like what I said moments ago about regular chess, I was able to describe the game mechanics using exactly four dimensions, even if I had to describe that via abstraction to two dimensions, because, you know, 4D screens aren't really a thing. By the same logic, I therefore believe 5D chess has four dimensions. <laughs> But I know that answer won't convince all of you, so let's take a highly accelerated tour through some comments. I should emphasise this is all just a bit of fun, so please don't think I'm singling out anyone to argue with. I very much appreciate every comment, and this is a fun debate to be having. But since this video does need some comedy... Daniel Ollen says it's 5D because if the fourth dimension is time, then multiverse must be the fifth. Which is true, but since the basic chessboard is 2D, in this game, time is in fact the third dimension, making multiverse the fourth. Lentleman Productions says it's 5D because knights jump over other pieces via a fifth dimension. In normal chess, we pick up a knight in 3D space to jump. I would argue this is merely a convenience and that a knight is not, by definition, 3D. A knight's movement rules are defined in two dimensions, just the same as everything else. And I guess if you're truly insisting on a Flatland-esque 2D universe, well then maybe all the other pieces just move out of the way? Or maybe it's made of the 2D equivalent of neutrinos. There's no reason to think higher dimensional knights would work any differently. Their movement vectors are expressed in four dimensions, so they must be perfectly able to move in four dimensions too via one of these two means. Joseph Barney says it's 2D because it's played on a 2D screen. This is the game versus universe argument again. Can anything ever be 4D in a 3D world? It's perfectly possible to talk about and operate with higher dimensions in mathematics and physics on 2D paper. Whether definition necessitates existence is, however, a complicated matter best left to philosophers. So... Mr. Cool Guy 425 says the progression of turns is the fifth dimension. I go back and forth on this. If it is, then we have to accept that normal chess has the same extra time dimension, which I feel is another instance of the game versus universe debate. But then, couldn't you argue that the rules of every game necessarily involve the progression of time? And this is all getting rather confusing, isn't it? XXXYugu XXX says it's 6D because going back and forward in time and up and down the multiverse are all separate dimensions. This one at least I can say is definitively wrong, but there's a bit too much maths involved to explain, so just pause here if you care to doubt me. Sleepy says it's 5D ish because the fourth dimension usually refers to time and that makes it confusing. Fair enough, but a dimension by any other name would smell as sweet. 
Sound syndrome says what? Okay. Kyle Hart says it's 5D because creating new timelines is the fifth dimension. Mm, not really what a dimension is, I'm afraid. You can't move in the creating new timelines direction. Ponyman says what? Cero Cero says it's 5D because chess not having a height dimension means the pawn cube can't exist. I cannot argue with that. Griffin Hoffman says they can't find the Jurassic Rook footage anywhere. Well, it is linked in the credits in the description of my video, but I'll just reiterate here that it's from this timestamp in this video by Aliens Rock. I think that's enough looking through YouTube comments for today. Hopefully I've made my case well enough and you can send this video to anyone who wonders why 5D chess is in fact 4D, and probably make them more confused than they were before. Uh, sorry. Just to say here, I have a couple of other videos currently in mid-production. One about a book some of you have definitely read, but most of you definitely haven't, and one about the video game FTL Faster Than Light. So look out for those, although it looks like this semester may be really rather busy, so I can't promise anything. Anyway, thank you all very much for the many views and many surprisingly nice comments on my last 5D chess video, and I hope you'll stick around to see whatever comes next. Goodbye.